Well, good morning, everybody. It is January 1, uh, 2023, and Lucy and I are headed into a Little Pine Hollow. So I'm letting her lead today. She says she knows the way. <laughs> She's never been here before, but she is in a hurry, I guess. She's cold, she says. She's trying to warm up. Anyway, th there won't be a whole lot of water down here at the waterfall, but I also want to explore a little further than I did last time I was here. So that's the main focus of this trip. So that's what we're gonna do. There has definitely been some utility work done out here since the last time I was here. Didn't have, a lot of the stuff has been cleared out. Hang on, sweetie. Uh, You're already lost. Nah, we go down here. <laughs> but we will be going up that way okay. a little later. But I'll check the map, but I'm pretty sure we go down this, this road. I think. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is correct. What, if it's not, we'll come back. You ready? Yes. Yeah. All right. Actually, I'm going to need my gloves on as well. Can you hold this for you? Hold that. Because this is where your hands are going to get wet. Yes, I need to get gloves that don't have fur in them. Is this on? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now. Are you going to do this? Yes. This is going to be some slick rock and roots, but just go slow. It's not bad, it's not bad at all, just got to go slow. You're doing fine. There you go. Put your foot there. Just like that. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Drop in right here. Taking pictures? Yeah. Here we are at the base of Little Pine Hollow Falls and not much water, didn't expect much, but this is a real pretty area down here. And it's great if you are a photographer and you wanna do uh, a modeling shoot or any sort of portrait shoot after a good rainfall, you could come down here and uh, uh, do some photographs that way uh, it's not hard to get to at all so it wouldn't be much work uh, to get here so something to keep in mind 
if you are ever interested in doing some you know blending nature photography with you know modeling or portrait photography lucy is down there and i guess she's waiting on me are you coming up here oh well, yeah i want you to yeah get on up here it's not too chilly today so that's nice and this is what the falls look like. Do you want me to go up there for scale? I mean, we can. Uh, here, go, go. No, don't go that way. Well, I mean, I guess you could. This way might be a little easier, less steep. But it's up to you. But yeah, let's go up there for scale. This way is the easier way. So. I know. Yeah, that'll work. I know, but I wanted to come up here. But this gives you plenty of scale. Take a couple of steps forward. Yeah. I mean, if you can, don't nothing risky. That's good. Don't go any closer. Okay, that's fine. I can see you in here. You're good. All right. All right. Let's head on down the creek. Then we're gonna continue down that trace road you good yeah. sun's starting to come out it was cold right there by that waterfall it was more windy mm -hmm. and then down here so are we going to go straight down here yeah we're going to we want to get eventually we want to jump over to the left side of the creek. Well, no, actually go down a little further. Huh? How are you gonna walk across that? No, right down here, I'll show you. This is the way we came in. I know, and I walked right across this. Here, just follow me. I don't wanna get wet. Just step on this little rocks outcrop. Huh? Myself in that okay, that's fine. Here, we're just going to go down here. No, it wasn't far at all. Well, you said... Here, let's go up this way. How far was that to here from the truck? I don't know. I'd have to look. I, I would I was it was probably three quarters of a mile if that yeah yeah
Nope. You got snow last year. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, we probably didn't have to come up this hill because here's the road and the road goes right down there. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. We got bonus miles. I'm gonna give me some gloves. Some hiking gloves. You don't have fur in them. <laughs> All right, let's continue on down this, whatever this is. Whoa. I just hope there's no big critters up in those like little what? rock they overhangs. Well, no. they wouldn't be, but. No, but it really didn't get cold enough, so. I know, but. Do the bears hibernate? I mean, yeah, it's in sleeping. I mean, what? What are they doing? Arkansas? Well, they they go to ground. They go to they get in their caves and holes and whatnot, and they just state. Huh? Do they get out this time of year? No, it's usually January, February is when they go to, go to ground. I know. But nobody can get, get the scale of it. Just can't. <laughs> That's a cool little machine there. Well, it's kind of a pain in the butt machine too. It's not really designed for the... It's carrying around your neck. You got a tracker on you or something. <laughs> These poor animals that people put the stuff on, I know how they feel now. Oh. How far are you going to take me off the path? <laughs> no, we're going to stay a good ways on this. Here's the other waterfall. Be careful here. There's actually three waterfalls up there. All right, we're past the waterfall and we're heading down the old road still. We've been following this bluff line here for really the whole hike. So, but right over there in that area is the Hawksville Craig and Doug Hollow. They're right in there somewhere but can't see him from here, I don't think. Uh, but man, these bluffs. Let's go this way, I suppose. A lot of down trees. Gotta be careful stepping over stuff.
Oh wow, look at that big rock shelter. That's huge. Woohoo! That is massive. Okay, we're coming up to a wow, look at that huge rock. Man. Yeah. Man, look at the size of these rocks down here. They're massive. Wow. Really is cool to see stuff like this. There's some big rocks down there. We'll go down there in a minute. Really neat. Rock shelter up there. Again, the camera doesn't give you the full idea. Look at this. Something else. God, these are huge. Absolutely huge. All right, we're going to go right up above this rock. That passage right through. Ooh, what is that? Is that a cave? Ah. Oh, shoot. This is slick. <laughs> oh. I know. Come on down this way. Come on down here. We're gonna. I want to poke my head through this corner or this crack, or other. Wow, you're good. Okay, it's looking north, and I'm gonna go up here. Lucy's gonna stay back and get pictures. I want to see what's up here. Uh, wow. It's a huge rock garden in here. Massive. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Look how big this thing is. Wow. Wow. All right. Okay. Let's see, still, okay, I don't think that's Hawksbill, but I think over there might be, but there's no way to really tell, I'm just not going to be able to see any uh, features that tell me, I'll have to look at the map to see how far I went versus my relation to Hawksbill. All right. <laughs> oh. Nice little crack between those two big rocks. Okay, now that might very well be Hawksbill. That could be Whitaker Creek right there. Just so hard to, to tell. 
but that's a distinct possibility right there. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now I just want to go to over here and see what it looks like. My gosh, look at all of this. <laughs> That is something. There's the buffalo. Right down there. Cool. And I think Hawksbill is right over there somewhere. All right. <laughs> it's crazy. What? Oh, wow. What is over here? I'll be. There's an old mylar balloon right there. What is this? Wow. Look at that balloon down there. You see it? Balloon? That pink? Yeah. That's one of those Mylar balloons, like from the birthday or Walmart, yeah. anniversary, whatever. You need that back here? Yeah, I wanna see, you stay here. Cause I'm not sure how this is gonna well, work. Give me out of your camera. Oh, it's just, okay, here's nothing. Here, let's get a here, come. Huh? No, come down here. I'm just gonna get a picture. Here, let's do it right here. There's a nice little spot. Can you make it down here, okay? Yeah. All right. <sighs> wow. Look at it. You can go right down there to the river. If you were to go down here, that's okay. steep. You know, I don't <clears throat> want to go down there because it'd come right back up. Oh, I'm not going down there. Yeah, no way. But. That is a pretty view. Hmm. I would go down and get that balloon, should I? No. If you twist your ankle and you... Well, I'm not worried about that. I'm just... I'm worried about it. Don't worry. I'll get you home. I got to go get it. Go get it. Oh, yeah, that's insane how you're in the camera so already. Just slide down your rear. That's how I can get back up.
You think I worry too much? Well, I can't get you out of here. Oh, you can get out of here, though. If you can get my ass up there and say, I'll be back. I can't do that to you. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. I don't even know how to get out of here. We, uh. Through here? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, did we? Or did we go to the left? No, I think we went to the left. I'm not entirely sure. Entirely wrong person. Earlier, I could kind of see your footprints. Yeah. I think we came through here. I see the the leaves kind of ruffled through here. Yeah, that's how I knew you went up. Couldn't hear you. Were you I guess you weren't answering me because you were typing. No, I couldn't hear you. And I yelled real loud. <laughs> We are making our way out of Little Pine Hollow. Still following the old trace road. We got to see a lot of real pretty monster size, house size rocks, boulders. Not rocks, boulders. And it's really cool. We could also look, I look down and see the buffalo. And then across the buffalo, you look to the left a little ways, you could see the, the Whitaker Creek area where Hawksbill is. And just really, really neat area. Of course, we're the only ones out here. Uh, this place gets very little foot traffic. Uh, it's just a really neat place. Uh, to, cool, uh, to come to and check out. We've got two good waterfalls to see. Of course, not much water today, but it's just a neat, uh, neat place. And today is, is January 1. Uh, this is our first day hike for 2023. And it was a good one. I have to say, Lucy enjoyed it. She got to see a lot of neat things and take a lot of 
pictures of the scenery that I'm sure she'll post later. So we'll uh, we'll quit there and we'll see you next time on Traveling with Spinoza.